Hi friends, welcome to this video. Today we're talking about the new Guerlain Spring Summer 2024 makeup collection. I have the new reformulated Meteorites pearls and I have a lot to share with you about these new pearls. I'm going to share with you close-up swatches, I'm going to show you a demo and I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks on how to use these pearls and how to get the most of them because there is a little bit of a learning curve when using these pearls. I also have the new limited edition eyeshadow palette that was released for the Spring Summer collection from Guerlain and this is 458 Aura Glow along with the new lip balm which I love the Guerlain lip balm so I have the new Kiss Kiss B Glow in Pop Rose Glow and I have a few other new Guerlain makeup products that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you everything on my face and I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts. If you're new here and if you enjoy beauty talks please take a moment to subscribe. I would love to welcome you to our community and if you're returning cool welcome back beautiful friends don't forget to leave me a comment i can't wait to chat with you and if you've tried any of these products let me know what's your favorite and let me know what's on your wish list okay friends and now that my skincare is done i'm going to start with the first step of my makeup routine and i just purchased the precious light rejuvenating illuminator from guerlain this is one of these illuminating highlighting pens it's almost somewhere in the middle between i actually use it as a concealer even though they say it's a illuminating rejuvenating illuminator and it's very similar to the ysl to chocolat which we all love i think a lot of us love but i prefer this one i find that this one is a little bit better for my under eye area and i always found that in general the ingredients of this one somehow work a little bit better for me. So I'm going to show you how it looks and I have it in the shade 01 and 01 is a little bit more yellow compared to 0 which is for uh, fair skin tones but with cool undertones. This one is more suitable I would say for warm undertones or neutral undertones but if you're cool then you should go with 0 with the shade 0. So I'm going to show you how pale this is. So this is the color and it's perfect for brightening the under eye area. I know that recently Guerlain released the terracotta concealer which I've tried and I like it but I prefer this one especially for my under eye area because for my under eye area on a daily basis I find it something like this. It's just so light and doesn't you know um I want for my under eye area since I'm 38 years old I want the lightest possible products for my under eye area because when I use the heavier concealers these can contribute to making under eye backs worse and I started to notice that as I reached the age of 37 uh, sometimes if I don't sleep well and I usually don't sleep like eight, nine hours. I work a lot and I usually sleep like this is way too much. I made a complete mistake. This is, this is just so much of it. I never use that much in reality, but this is like, um, this product is always saving me because I have it in my handbag and in case I want to look a little bit better, feel a little bit better during the day. Just it's so easy to apply and blend with fingertips and it's moisturizing and it lasts very well and it covers very well but at the same time it's so feathery light not like your typical concealer that is a little bit heavy so i was talking as i reached the age of 37 36 37 37 mostly i started to notice that when i don't sleep well like when i sleep four or five hours per night i start to notice that in the morning hours the very first morning hours my under eye area i start to get a little bit it starts to get a little bit puffy. It's not like it used to be in the past. And I prefer to use something as light as possible in terms of consistency. And I'm also going, going to go ahead and apply this one here where I have this frown line sometimes. It's not permanent, but when I frown, I have it. I'm going to place it also here and here, basically where I want to illuminate my face uh, just a little bit. And if I'm on the go, I'm going to blend this with my fingertips. But if I'm at home, usually I'm going to use a damp sponge beauty blender and um, I'm going to go ahead and find my beauty 
blender now. So on a daily basis, this is the only product that I need. This is the only complexion product that I need. And when I apply it, I just make sure to tap real nice with my fingertip and it basically erases pores because I have some pots here. I have combination skin and you know, I have some kind of little dilated pores around here, which are not visible, but they may become visible if I use heavy foundations. I find that this product just helps to brighten everything. And if I tap it just like this with my fingertip, it erases pores and imperfections. Now, as I start touching my face, my skin is sensitive. So it's going to get red, but it's going to calm. It's just that I was, um, you know, a little bit more aggressive with my demo here but I'm going to apply also a little bit here um, just to brighten the under eye area and this kind of illuminating pen it's excellent for Caucasians because as we age a lot of us start to get severe darkness right here in the inner corners and this is what ages us a lot so something like this is going to help to lift the shadow the darkness so I would suggest this because I know that a lot of women in their late 30s um, or sometimes even younger it may be hereditary are going to have this darkness around here, just in the inner corners of the eyes, they're going to become more hollow and a little bit darker because of some veins and capillaries. And this is a very easy, very quick fix for the face. I'm going to use a little bit of tinted moisturizer uh, also on my nose and basically here around. I'm gonna be using the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Zero. I'm still in the shade Zero, even though we have some sunshine, I'm soon going to be 0.5, but I still find that shade number Zero works quite well for me. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit on my nose and maybe a couple of dots here. That's going to be it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly fill in my brows just to feel a little bit better. And I have a couple of uh, Guerlain foundations currently. I have the Terracotta foundation and also the Perure Gold Matte foundation. I've tried also the Perure Gold Glowy foundation. I kind of find it a little bit heavier compared to the matte foundation. So between Perure Gold, the matte foundation and Perure Gold, the illuminating foundation, I think that I prefer the matte version of the foundation. So I currently have the matte version and the terracotta foundation, but they are both more than one year old and I have to declutter them, unfortunately. But maybe for the summer months, I'm thinking that I'm going to buy the, the Perure Gold matte foundation because I really like it. It is a foundation that I use mostly for special occasions because it is a medium coverage foundation. If you want to see a um, full review of this foundation, I'm going to link it here. I also have some swatches of colors just to give you an idea um, probably and some basic guidance of what shade you might be using. I'm usually wearing the shade 0, 0, 0 0.5. They are quite close to each other, so, but I'm usually going to be in the shade 0 or 0 0.5 in Guerlain's foundations. Okay, friends, and now we're moving on to the new reformulated Meteorites Pearls. And I have two of them. I don't know why I'm showing the boxes. I've already used them. I'm gonna show you here the packaging. So I have the colors 01, Pearly White, and 02, which is Cool Rose. Right now we have four colors of the pearls. And here in the box, it says light revealing pearls of powder, set, correct, mattify, illuminate, infused with naturally derived mother of pearls. Now, what I find to be the main difference, I think, is that they removed the talc from these pearls. Um, in the past, talc was, I believe, the fifth or the sixth ingredient because the Guerlain's Meteorites pearls never really had, I believe they never really had talc as a first ingredient, but they used to have talc somewhere in the ingredients. And I believe that it was probably the fourth or the fifth ingredient within the pearls. Now they don't contain talc. The packaging has also been changed. It's very beautiful, as you can probably tell. Well, I like the old packaging, but this one is a little bit more fun, a little bit more playful. I would say it gives me spring vibes. And once you open the pearls, I find that they close a little bit better compared to the old pearls. The old pearls would open very quickly. And right now these, 
I am literally a little bit struggling to open them. Okay, I opened. So here you have the Guerlain logo, the beautiful bee. Here with the new pearls, we have a powder puff, which is like the standard puff that you're going to get with setting powders, any kind of setting powders, you're going to get this kind of puff, which uh, before that, the Guerlain Meteorites pearls didn't have this puff. They used to have a little bit of a foam. Okay, so these are the original Guerlain Meteorites pearls and they used to have this kind of a foam on top. Well, this is actually a limited edition blush that they released a few years ago and I have lost the foam of the original pearls, but here is basically, this is what you were getting in the past, which couldn't be used really to place the product on the face. But right now I really like the puff here. I think that everyone used to love the original Meteorites scent. It was so light, this absolutely gorgeous, recognizable kind of a violet scent. Right now the new pearls, smell a little bit heavier. Definitely the scent is heavier, a little bit deeper, a little bit more in the niche side, let's say, which it's not a bad thing, but I would prefer if they kept the original scent of the meteorites because it was much lighter, more floral and more feminine, more girly, more spring-like. This one right now, it is just as strong as the original Meteorites pearls. You can still, once you apply the product on the face, you're going to feel it lingering on, on the skin. You're going to feel the fragrance for a little while, depending on how sensitive you are. But right now, the scent, I like it, but I would prefer the old scent. And I purchased the colors 01 and 02. I've always loved the Meteorites pearls, but they have a little bit of a learning curve. So it's not just you take the product and you start applying it on the face. It all depends on your skin type. Uh, and you have to think a little bit how to apply the product. With the Meteorites Pearls, I always think of them as a beautifying powder, not really as a setting or mattifying powder. So these are illuminating and I'm going to show you swatches in natural light and in direct sunlight so that you can see exactly how illuminating these pearls are. But I was never really thinking of these pearls as something that can mattify my face or uh, I wouldn't really set my face and my makeup with these pearls. So let's say if you have a dry skin, very dry skin, and you normally don't use powder, you can use this one all over the face just to set your face and it's going to give you beautiful luminosity. But if you're like me and you're someone who still uses powder, I personally prefer to use these on top of a little bit of loose powder. Why? Because my skin still, I prefer to have my skin very perf perfected and without, you know, I prefer my base and my skin to be and to look very perfected. That's why I usually prefer to use these as finishing and beautifying powder. What I mean by beautifying powder is that I use it on top of my, I'm going to apply a little bit of tinted moisturizer or whatever I'm going to use this day or foundation, then I'm going to apply a little bit of loose powder, a matte loose powder like the Givenchy Prisma Libre. This is my preferred way to use the Meteorites Pearls. I always think of them as a beautifying product, not really as a setting powder, not necessarily as a setting powder. And the effect that I usually like to get is this very perfected, poreless, absolutely gorgeous skin in real life. Now, I, really enjoy using the pearls like this. And this is what I'm going to show you. The main difference between shade 01 and 02 is that 01 is the most beautiful highlighter. I think that if you have very, very fair skin tone, you can use if you want only shade 01. For me personally, shade 01 looks like a beautiful highlighter. So I want to show you first 01 because this is going to be my highlighter. And I want to show you just on top of the Givenchy Prisma Libre powder, how this is going to create a beautiful luminosity to my face. Now, a lot of people 
are going to start using the pearls directly. They're going to dip their, the brush directly into the pearls. I find that this never really worked for me and it, I don't like the effect when I use it that way. So I'm gonna show you my way to use the Meteorites pearls. One of the main differences also between the new pearls and the old pearls is that the new pearls have a little bit more coverage compared to the old pearls. The old pearls, you would really have to build up the product to get any kind of color or any kind of visibility on the face, right? now with the new pearls I feel like they definitely add a little bit more they are a little bit more substantial in terms of the product that you are applying which is something good I really like so I'm going to gently shake the pearls or maybe turn them upside down nothing is gonna happen don't worry they are not going to crush but what you want is this product to be released so you want the pearls to release the product on the cap Okay, see? So this is zero, 01. And you have this pearly gorgeousness right here on the cap. And this is what we are going to get. And this is what I'm going to use on my face. So I'm going to use my favorite brush for highlighter. And for strategic powder application, this is Refra 18. I have a few of those brushes because I use them every single day. This is basically my favorite face brush. So I'm going to take a little bit of this powder and this gives the most beautiful natural looking highlight now if you want the highlighter to be a lot more visible then don't apply loose powder apply directly this powder on top of your foundation and you're going to get a more intense result a lot more intense result than the one that i'm getting here but the one that i'm showing you right now is so safe to be worn in the office as well and to give you this absolutely gorgeous lit from within glow these pearls especially shade 01 is a game changer for me i love this kind of very subtle very gorgeous highlighters if you want, you can lightly apply this one, brush this also under the eyes, but under the eyes, I would advise you to brush it lightly because you don't want too much of a highlight under the eyes. Um, you're going to see, you're going to decide for yourself how you want to use it, but this is my favorite way to use it. Okay, friends, and now we're moving on to zero 02, which I'm going to be using all over my face. And I'm going to shake this lightly once again, just to release the powder because this is how it works and there we have it so I'm going to be using a brush and just lightly dust this over my face I usually prefer to use these um, pearls on the places of, of my face that I want to emphasize a little bit um, as I mentioned, almost like a beautifying powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this all over my cheeks, a little bit on the forehead. And if you want, actually, you can just buy only one of these pearls and use them um, as a highlighter or as a beautifying powder. you know what I'm actually going to clean this part of my face now just to show you because here we have 01 applied as a highlighter and I'm going to show you 02 on this part of my face so just give me a minute to clean everything and reapply the makeup okay so I'm just reapplying my uh, the Sisley tinted moisturizer now Uh, because I want to show you what is the difference actually between 01 and 02 so that you can make a decision in case you want to try and use buy only one of them um, because maybe you don't want to spend money on both I mean it all depends on you but this is just to make my video a little bit more helpful uh, okay so now clean face here on this side you can probably see the highlighter on this side and on this side I'm going to try and apply 02 yes these are getting the same refer brush but this time clean one and I'm going to apply 02 I'm going to use it exactly as I used 01 just as a targeted it does have a little bit of dust, that's why I'm closing my eyes. And it definitely does not look 
illuminating. It does give a bit of luminosity, but for me personally, it cannot be used as a highlighter, like you can see here. So I'm just tilting my head um, slowly so that my face can catch the lights. But I would say that definitely 02 cannot be used as a targeted highlighter on the face. It's more like a finishing powder. So I think that you can probably see right here that it's a 01 is a very, very subtle highlighter. But definitely 02 here cannot really work as a highlighter. And let's try and build it up a little bit more just to see. I suppose that because the pearls are more uh, colorful, that's why probably I'm not getting the same highlighting effect. Or maybe if your skin tone, I think is, if you have probably, if you have medium skin tone, 02 is going to show up a little bit more. It's just that for my skin tone, it's definitely like a finishing beautifying powder, but not really a highlighter. So we're building it up a lot and I don't think that it's reasonable to build it up more okay as I build up the color a lot but I applied a lot of powder here I start to see a little bit of shine but it's not as flattering as this one so I definitely prefer zero one applied as a highlighter and zero two as a finishing powder. Next I'm moving on to my favorite blush. This is again from the New Guerlain blushes and it's in the shade 00 Nude Clar. This is the blush that I have been using a lot lately. It gives me the most beautiful effect on the cheeks and this is a powder blush which makes what makes it interesting is that it actually lasts all day. I don't know how. I've never had really a powder blush that lasts for a whole day but a lot of you um, were commenting and there's some of my latest videos when I was talking about this blush a lot of you were commenting saying that it does last a whole day on you as well so we're having we have feedback from more people here about these blushes okay friends I'm not going to apply more because I prefer to keep it a lot more natural and then we're moving on to the beautiful eyeshadow palette. Before that I want to show you also one of my favorite bronzers. This is one of my all-time favorite bronzers from Guerlain. So this is brand new and it's um, actually they recently made their bronzers refillable. You can probably see here as they turn it. So this one is now refillable and my perfect shade is 00 Clear Rose Light Cool. I'm just going to lightly apply this one to warm up my face a little bit. This bronzer this has always been the most beautiful natural looking bronzer on my skin. I'm just lightly going to apply this to sculpt my face and then once I finish my makeup, I'm going to see if I need more bronzer and more blush. We're moving on now to the beautiful limited edition eyeshadow palette of Guerlain. This is the box actually, and it's called 458 Aura Glow. Initially, I was thinking that I'm going to skip this eyeshadow palette, but then it's so beautiful actually that I thought to myself, well, why am I going to skip it? It's a limited edition, but I'm going to enjoy it. And I usually find that these last for such a long time. I thought to myself, well, I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful eyeshadow palette and then I don't care that it's limited edition, it's so beautiful. So I think that this color here, I did not apply a lot of blush on purpose because I think that this color here can be used as a blush. Let's try that. With the kind of illuminating blush, not as illuminating as the Rare Beauty blushes, but it's definitely there. It's definitely a beautiful illuminating blush or you may use it as a blush topper. Okay, I'm taking my hair back because we're going to be using the eyeshadow palette now. And I think that it looks beautiful as a blush, applied as a blush. It gives a fresh color to the face, but it is definitely is illuminating. So if you're not into this kind of illuminating blushes, but if you have the eyeshadow palette, I would say 
experiment a little bit, have fun with it and maybe try it also as a blush to see if you're going to like this color or not. I personally love it. And I want to use this same pink color all over my eyelids because I think that this is the color that I'm most often going to wear. Every single day. I could not skip these beautiful colors. <laughs> I thought to myself initially when I saw the palette and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm, it's a limited edition so I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. But then I thought to myself, you know what, I rarely actually repurchase eyeshadow palettes. They last for a very long time. So this eyeshadow palette in particular, if I use it so often, very often, it's going to last me for a few years. I think it's good when brands make limited edition eyeshadow palettes because not many people actually repurchase eyeshadows because we usually like to try different things. I'm going to get this deeper burgundy shade with the same brush and I'm going to apply this just in the... Ooh, this is, uh, has a lot of pigmentation, actually. I did not expect such color payoff. I'm going to use a smaller brush here. The quality of the eyeshadows is consistent with what you would expect from Guerlain. It's a very good quality. They blend beautifully. They are beginner friendly. It's quite easy to blend the colors. Okay, friends, and I want to use this color as a topper here. This one reminds me a little bit the powder highlighter Lumière de Lucien of Chanel but it does not have the glittery particles so it almost looks as I'm looking at it in the pan it looks like it has like almost like green and blue shift but once I swatch it on my finger it has pink and purple but it's hard to explain and these kind of colors are hard to catch on camera I was literally, I spent days trying to catch the Chanel highlighter and I believe that I was able to capture it in one of my videos. So I'm going to try and do the same with this color as well, but it's so, it's beautiful. So apparently this is something that is trending this year, this kind of multicolor colors that are changing their color. Apparently they are quite trending. Now, I have already tried the pearls the previous day, but the eyeshadow palette, I'm trying it for the first time and I really like it. I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot. And I think that each of these three colors can be used as one and done, which is always very good. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner on my eyes, but just close to the lashes, just to create the illusion of thicker lashes. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to apply mascara. Okay friends, this is going to be with the mascara and I'm going to apply a little bit more of the lip balm. This is in Guerlain Kiss Kiss B Glow in 458. Wasn't this the color? Oh, actually the number of the eyeshadow palette matches with the number of the lip balm. So they are both in 458. Pop Rose Glow, this is the name of the lip balm, and then Aura Glow is the name of the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to reapply the lip balm. And this is my favorite lip balm formulation from Guerlain. These are the luxury lip balms that I actually keep repurchasing. I think that I can use a little bit more blush now that my makeup is done. I'm going to be using just a little bit more blush to add a touch of rosy glow on the cheeks. I wanted to take a quick moment to compare actually Fuchsia Glow to the new Rose Pop Glow. Pop Rose Glow, excuse me. So this is the new one, Pop Rose Glow, and this is Fuchsia Glow. So if you take a closer look at the two, you're going to see that the new color is paler. It's more like a rosy glow to the lips, whereas fuchsia glow is a little bit deeper. It's more like a classic fuchsia color. But uh, one thing that I wanted to mention about these lip balms, they are my favorite. But you have to know that they change color a little bit. They This is not advertised on Guerlain's website, but on me they always tend to change color just a little bit after I apply them. So 
let's say I apply the lip color and maybe around five to ten minutes after application the color becomes a little bit more vibrant so right now on my lips I have the new color this is pop rose glow I'm going to clean this they stain the lips lightly but it's very pleasant because you remain with the color so I'm going to clean that and I'm going to apply fuchsia glow okay so see what we are talking about this is when I clean my lips they are still going to be stained and I'm going to show you now fuchsia glow which is my favorite from the line fuchsia glow is just a little bit brighter okay and this is fuchsia glow now I'm going to wait for a few minutes so that the color can fully develop and I'm going to be back to show you Okay, friends, and it's been around five minutes now, which is usually the time that is necessary for the color to fully develop. So this is what we get. It's not that much different, but I feel like after I apply the lip balm to my lips, they tend to develop a little bit more. So maybe they react with the pH of the lips just lightly. And it all depends on how much of the lip balm you're going to apply, but you can see that they almost look like a um, shiny lipstick. That's why I love them so much. I prefer this kind of lip balm over the lip oils just because I have thin lips and these kind of balms, they're not sticky at all. They moisturize my lips and they look incredibly beautiful and I have been repurchasing them since Guerlain launched them. I usually go for Fuchsia Glow or, or Lavender Glow. I really like now the Pop Rose Glow. Initially when I applied it, it's quite pale and then as the color develops, it's just a more rosy color Whereas the fuchsia glow is a little bit more vibrant fuchsia color, but I like both of them uh, This is again a color that I will keep repurchasing I am addicted to the lip balms because they don't feel burning on the lips They feel very comfortable and let's say with some of the lip oils and lip balms, they tend to feel a little bit irritating and I don't feel like they really moisturize my lips. I find that these lip balms from Guerlain, they really help to repair and moisturize deeply my lips. So that's why I have been repurchasing them ever since they were launched. Okay, friends, now I want to share with you my final thoughts on the new Guerlain Spring Summer 2024 makeup collection. I really like the new reformulated Guerlain pearls. They have a little bit more coverage compared to the old pearls and I need to use less to see a visible effect on my skin. I have to say that my favorite one is 01 because it looks like a beautiful highlighter on my skin. And I also like 02. The performance of the pearls, I prefer the new ones because they are a little bit more substantial. They have just a little bit more coverage compared to the old ones and I still see them on my face quicker than when I start applying the old pearls. So I see some visible change. Overall, I really like the new reformulated Guerlain Meteorites pearls and my favorite one is 01 Pearly White, which happens to be a beautiful highlighter. Have something under my eye it happens to be a beautiful highlighter on my face which is something that i truly appreciate now if you have the old pearls in the shade 2 clear i don't think that you should buy right away zero two cool rose because these two pretty much they're going to give you the same effect they are quite subtle i'd say that the new ones have a little bit more coverage compared to the old ones i see them on my face much quicker i need to use less product to see the effect but overall if you already have um the old ones the old pearls use your old pearls and don't repurchase the same shade. But if you have the old pearls and you used to like them, I would suggest you trying maybe 01, the pearly white, if you are looking for a beautiful highlighter, an illuminating highlighter. I really like how this looks on my face because lately a lot of brands are releasing very glittery highlighters. And this one is more of the kind of natural looking highlighters, but still, the kind of highlighter that is there. I think that it's a very good product from Guerlain. The only thing that I would change about these new pearls is going to be the scent. Well, to be honest, I prefer, much prefer the old scent of the Meteorites pearls because it was a lighter, more floral scent. And the fragrance here, again, I believe that it was developed by Delphine Gelk, if I'm not mistaken. She's a great perfumer. And as a fragrance alone, I love it. I love it as a fragrance alone. 
but on a makeup product, I have to be completely honest, I prefer this one for a makeup kind of fragrance, something that I'm putting on my face. I prefer this one, much prefer this one because it's so much lighter, more fresh, more floral. Overall, the whole reformulation I think was for the better. I feel tempted to actually buy the deepest color of the pearls, maybe sometimes when I have a discount, because I believe that these are going to be permanent, if I'm not mistaken, but this is the information that I have. The eyeshadow palette is going to be a limited edition. The pearls are going to be permanent. I think that the lip balm, again, is going to join the permanent collection of the lip balm, but I cannot guarantee. For sure, what I know is that the eyeshadow palette is a limited edition. So if you want to get this one, get it now. I think it's a beautiful creation. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Overall, I really enjoy this makeup collection. I really enjoy all of the latest releases of Guerlain, including the blush, the blush, the blushes, their blushes are truly beautiful. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase more because for now I really enjoy the color that I have, 00 Light Nude. This is my perfect blush shade and overall I'm quite happy with what Guerlain have been creating lately. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and for watching and until next time, bye!